<coughs> to kill um, that little tank push here. But the support came just in time. And now um, uh, Brown is going for some raids. Most probably tries to snipe the vessel and uh, Teal uh, selected scouts, but is now going for suicide. I think, I don't know, maybe he wanted to go for the combo or so and um, accidentally um, selected them. And now the race of Brown are starting to attack the vessel of Teal, and uh, now he notices. Um, yeah, is pulling back the vessel, and oh, nice side storm here, catching all those anti-air units, but I think oh, the marines are able to kill the last wraith and the vessel still wives. But now it's pretty much dead because Brown will definitely go for wraiths again. It's only like three shots. And we have a Dark Arcan around for uh, Orange as a 30k hero and the vessel goes down. Now, what is that? Normal Goliath. Okay, so that's pretty interesting here. Also, we have an Yggdrasil as a 30k hero for purple. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, yeah, Orange um, trying to put some pressure on the top team, but um, alone without any support, that's no way. Uh, although, I think he, he aimed the High Templars and killed both of them. And uh, purple uh, immediately going for another tank drop. He's dropping the tanks now, and he will, I think, um, be successful in at least reducing the shield points um, to 50% or something. Um, Brown is able to select 30k hero also, and the top team is pushing in. Oh, blue is killing the Yggdrasil of purple. There were no more forces around here. I almost missed that. No more shield for the bottom team. But uh, yeah, well, um, the top team's shield doesn't look so good either. Now um, some raid, uh, sorry, guardians out uh, for red, killing the Goliath first. And uh, no anti-air support here by uh, the teammates of um, Purple. Oh, and uh, the dropships. Uh, he uploaded. He loaded these um, tanks up and uh, tried to. Ah, now we could see here in that corner we have a suicide area for um, drop leftovers. Only tanks, Goliaths, and Reavers. And uh, he used that. Oh, and the Dark Archon by uh, Orange has been spotted. Um, let's see, uh, what is that actually? An infested Terran by Brown as a 30k hero. Uh, but, <laughs> but, full shield um, for the top team. Red went for uh, for a Phoenix and the Phoenix gets mind controlled by the Dark Archon who just came uh, <laughs> along that second and but uh, Red immediately going for Guardians and killing that uh, Phoenix. And I wonder if the top team still has vision. If they have, they should uh, really go for the um, infested. And it looks like Red is heading straight toward that direction, but the guards aren't attacking. Nope, he doesn't see it. So I think the map vision has um, has gone some seconds ago. Well, okay, now the uh, bottom team is pushing in. You can see the shield points are going down like nothing. Uh, DTs and Arkans, and where is the top team? Um, well, okay, the gardens were around, tried to get uh, some hits. Oh, and he got some hits on the Dark Arkan. It's almost dead. Um, and I don't know actually why... Uh, oh, and the, the infested Terran, I missed it, but it hit the Nexus. It hit the Nexus, you can see that exactly 200, uh, 2,000 health points missing. So um, nice timing here by Brown, um, just uh, catching uh, the top team totally off guard and using um, that infested Terran successfully. Um, I don't know why Blue went for a race actually um, versus such uh, such a push. Um, we had um, Arkans and DTs, and he went for um, for uh, I don't know four or six wraiths. That's not a, such a good decision. But um, anyway, maybe he had his reasons or wanted to go for the Dark uh, Arkan, which is now hidden inside of the Yggdrasil. Uh, Yggdrasil, by the way, 50k hero for. Um, for orange. Now let's see. Um, yeah, well, the bottom team is uh, continuing to put pressure on the top one, and the top team looks kind of like they, mm, I don't know, they are not really uh, responding together. Um, I don't know. I think blue, yeah, is going for a tank drop now. 
uh, yeah, he he will be successful. Let's see. Uh, well, the shield has already been removed. Red and Teal desperately defending here versus the forces of the bottom team, and um, already a lot of raids outside and corsairs and uh, guardians. Perfect unit uh, choices um, to sell, uh, to stop any um, drops. And the top team unfortunately has only these Arkans as anti-air units, but um, they are successful in killing some Guardians. And yeah, the GTs and the uh, Ultralis um, are slowly um, damaging the Nexus, although that's not really uh, dangerous. <coughs> and now a wave of Cracklings by Blue here incoming. And these little guys are in fact um, able to um, damage the Nexus even more. But uh, those tough sellers here, uh, selected by uh, Purple, stop that attack. And now we have a shield um, has been selected by, I don't know who, um, most probably, I don't know, actually, Brown. Let's say Brown. Um, and um, Purple is... Okay, now he went for an Arbiter. Purple went for an Arbiter and Blue is already around and starting to attack the Arbiter. No supporting forces here, uh, although um, Yggdrasil provides the Arbiter with vision. Uh, and the Arbiter goes down here, so nice timing by Blue. And um, the Arbiter was only alive for <laughs> some seconds. And uh, now with Lurkers out here for Purple. Well, I think Purple expected a push um, by the top team, but there actually was uh, was no uh, was none. Um, none. Okay, now um, yeah, the top team needs an observer, and there's the observer by Teal. So now these lurkers aren't a problem here. Um, okay, now the top team is pushing in. Let's see. Um, Teal is actually spotting around here for any possible heroes and um, 50k hero for red. Let's uh, have a quick uh, look at the Nexus situation. Um, shield uh, two third down, um, health points uh, one third uh, for the top team, bottom team um, as good as new. <coughs> and oh, the Dark Arcan, the Dark Arcan! Oh man, any mind controls the second Phoenix and loads it up into the Yggdrasil. Um, yeah, well, uh, I think yet yeah, the Dark Arkan has been killed also, um, but, uh, well, that was the second time Orange was uh, able to mind control a Phoenix. Very well done here. And, um, yeah, now he has the, that Phoenix pretty much safe here inside of that Yggdrasil. Um, the bottom team is continuing, kind of, to put some pressure on the top team. Um, Wraith's catching off that um, shuttle, but um, <coughs> yeah, the top team really has to spawn. They they cannot afford to lose the shield uh, too often. And um, oh, cruel scarabs catching all those Zerg uh, units and the dragoons. Uh, nice reavers here. Um, now a lot of size storms. Um, and as a 75k hero, Orange went also for <laughs> Alan Shazar, and now he's kind of perfectly safe. Has Alan Shazar behind the Nexus and um, Phoenix inside, and he will most probably wait for the right timing to go for the Nexus um, of the top team. But uh, therefore, his allies or he himself uh, have to um, get rid of the shield of the top team's Nexus. Um, 75k hero also for Brown. And, um, <coughs> yeah, well, uh, we can see, um, even though um, Teal is leading in points, the bottom team is following directly behind. So, um, two other players of the top team <coughs> are uh, a bit um, behind in points. So, Teal uh, kind of has to, um, to do quite some uh, points here to keep the pressure because otherwise the top team will fall back because they will simply ha not have the unit uh, the unit power to do anything and <laughs> orange can even afford to go uh, uh, with some raids um, here and um, scout for any heroes but um, well the, the f uh, well the top team tries kind of to push here but um was the lurkers and um, now let's see 
two Allens, by the way. Another one is the 75k row of brown, and um, we have purple. Looks like he will go for another Arbiter after the last one died so <laughs> fast. And we have also a 50k hero um, for blue, a queen. And um, yeah, the bottom one, whoa, a lot of units. <laughs> 